If you've taken our FileMaker classes, you've seen these Bonsai Gardens databases with these cool tabbed interfaces here that seem to be transparent with the red line and the semi-transparent white box that show the pictures in the background. Here's how they did that. I'm going to start from this layout that just, ha just has a plain tabbed interface like this and renovate it to use that uh, transparent look. We'll go into layout mode, select the tab controls with a click, a shift, click, and another click, a shift, click, and another click to get all three tabs selected. And then we'll set the fill pattern to these interlocking squares here. That means a fill pattern of none. There, now they've gone transparent. I'll also set the line thickness to none so that they're completely transparent, nothing really showing. Next, I'm going to bring in a background image with insert picture. Obviously this can be any image that you want, but I grabbed their trees from, to fit the Japanese uh, garden theme. And then I'm going to send that to the background from the arrange menu choosing send to back. That just sends it to the bottom of the stack of things. Next, I'm going to select this tab, the details tab, and insert another image of just a rectangle that was made in Photoshop or Fireworks. It's a white rectangle that's been set with its opacity to maybe 40, 50, 60 percent. That is, it's a semi-transparent white rectangle. Now when that comes in, we have to position it so that it's inside the tab control. That is, its handles need to be completely contained within the boundaries of this tab control. So I can move it up a little bit and to the left to be more precise, well, maybe not up quite so high, using the arrow keys to move it around. To be more precise, I'm going to select the tab control, bring up the inspector, and we see that it starts at its left edge of se at 7 pixels from the left and 163 pixels down. My rectangle is at 14 pixels to the left. I'm going to just arrow that over there and get it to a height that I like. And then again, arrange and send to back. There, now it's behind all the fields, but it stays inside the tab control in front. Now for that line, I'm going to use the line tool here. Three points, bright red, looks good. Click and drag, holding the shift key down to keep it straight. And then I'm just going to nudge it up with the arrow key until it just t kisses the top of that white box. Now I want to grab both the red line and the white box and copy them and paste onto each of the other tab control, or each of the tabs of the tab control but not without first checking the inspector again to get the location right because these need to be exactly, each of the three copies need to be in exactly the same place. So 7 and 188. Alright, good. I'll click the orders tab, paste, and then position those at 7 by 188 there, and then arrange, send to back. Alright, now the red line needs to be over here under orders, so I'm going to shift click on the white box to deselect it and then grab that line and drag it over, holding the shift key down to make sure I drag it straight. Might need to nudge it a little bit. There we go. And then finally for the third one, click on the last tab, paste, position it at 7 pixels over and 188 pixels down. And then the same thing, shift click on the white box to deselect it, grab the red line, Slide it over. Ah, the inspector got in my way. Slide that red line over. Nudge it back. And then select them both. And send to back. There. Now, let's see how it looks. There. There. All right. They all look good. Save the layout changes. Exit out of layout mode and we've got a nice semi-transparent tab control device.